Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. It's good to be back with you as we get into episode 17 in our Survival Quick Tips training series. In episode 16, we gave you four ways to repel an attack and win a fight. And today, we're gonna discuss five tactics streetwise people use to lower their risk and stay safe. But before we get into all this great content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notified when we post every new video in this training series. And for more free tips, training, MSK1 knife, and gear giveaways, go check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. All right, let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of Survival Quick Tips, which is part of the Tiny Survival Guide learning system and our full Tiny Survival Masterclass online training, which is available right now over at tinysurvivalmasterclass.com. In this segment, what David and I will be doing is taking a few minutes to break down vital emergency preparedness or survival topic found in our Tiny Survival Guide. And along the way, what we'll be doing is sharing a few action steps so that you can put that information into practice today. And everyone, we are going to be referencing section Q in the Tiny Survival Guide, so pull those out if you have one, and we're going to cover seer abduction, kidnapping, and crime prevention, mostly specifically on crime prevention, because that's really important, as we take you through five tactics streetwise people use to lower their risk and stay safe. Ready to get started, Craig? Let's do it. You guys are ready to get started? All right, let's do it. All right, Craig, so to start, let's just put this in context. And I, I looked on, I think it was an FBI website, and they put crime into five buckets. And out of these five buckets, there's really only one or two that we're going to focus on today. So the five buckets are property crime, uh, which, uh, which is nonviolent. We've got violent crime that covers the gamut, including property and robbery crimes. We've got public disorder, we've got enterprise, and we've got white collar. But today we're gonna to focus mostly on violent crime. So one characteristic, can you name one or two characteristics, Craig, that are most common to most criminals? Well, more often than not, the thing we need to be aware of is they don't look like criminals do on TV. I think that's a big thing that we need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. And most good criminals are intelligent, and that's why they get away with a lot of what they do in today's world. They know how to put together risk versus reward sorts of study on the topics they're doing. And so they're going to look for the path of least resistance to achieve their objective, and that's something to keep in mind. So criminals are op op opportunistic if you had to boil it down. Yeah, absolutely. Without a doubt. Okay. So everybody, our goal is we want to help you increase a criminal's perceived risk in taking action against you and lower his perceived reward, which lowers your risk of becoming a victim. Does that make sense, Craig? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, think about it. If, if, if you can think about it as predator and prey and a criminal that's going to bring harm to you or steal something from you, they're looking for an easy gain. And so you don't want to be the type of prey that is easy gain. You want to make it difficult. All right. So let's get into this and let's talk about a few streetwise tactics that our listeners can use to stay safe. The big thing I think, and I always go back to this, and it's just so important is to not stand out and be a house, be a person, be someone that's going to stand out from the norm and make yourself more visible. So that means blend in with the crowd. You know, I, I say this all the time, but here in Kentucky where I live, when I go to Lexington, Kentucky, where everybody wears big University of Kentucky blue, I always try to wear a University of Kentucky blue. That way I blend in with them and I don't stand out. You don't want to look like a tourist. I learned this lesson the hard way. The first time I went to Chicago, I was with some good friends from Chicago. And I was looking up at the buildings and stuff of that nature and like, Craig, don't do that. You, 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 you look like a tourist. Well, I am a tourist. Well, you don't want to look like a tourist in Chicago. That was a fantastic lesson mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. 
And a big thing is you need to know at least your local area and know where the areas that have high crime, know where the threats are and just stay away from there. And in today's world where there's so much civil unrest, if you know that that's happening, then stay away from it. Don't go there. I'm not saying that we shouldn't peacefully assemble as afforded to us by the Constitution. However, in today's world, there's so many of these things that are causing problems. You need to really take a look at the places that you're going, see if you want to be a part of them. And as always, avoidance and awareness, and I'll throw in a couple of A's for you too. Be alert and aware, always. I like to say have that Navy SEAL stare wherever you are. You're up, your head is up, you're looking around, seeing what's going on around you. You don't have your face stuck in a phone, not paying attention to what's going on around you. That's that's really problematic. And we mentioned this in one of the other quick tips, but you want to be aware of what we refer to as the critical rule of threes. Critical rule of threes is if you see three things stand out and it's different from the norm or what you would expect in any environment, then you need to do, need to pay attention to that. And if something like that is happening, you probably need to adjust what it is you're doing, move, change, get away, do something of that nature and go with the 525 rule. No matter where you're going, five feet and 25 feet out in front of you, you are constantly paying attention to what's in that area. You don't want to turn the corner of a building or in a hallway or in, at the mall or some of that nature where you can't see five feet from you. You want to sweep out and get out from that corner so you can see five feet that is away from you. And then after you're checking that five feet uh, distance that's from you for threats, you're also just immediately there after checking out 25 feet as well. Okay, everyone, so we are out of time for this survival quick tip segment, but in a moment, Craig and I are going to continue the conversation with some really, really important content for the tiny survival masterclass students that jump into the program, and that's going to include nine habits criminals look for in an easy target. So if you want to get in on that vital bonus content, check out tinysurvivalmasterclass.com. Listen, it's simple. It's a complete emergency and disaster preparedness course that takes you less than four hours to go through. It dramatically improves your survival skills. It increases safety, security, and overall emergency preparedness. What's not to like, right? It's all done from the comfort of your home. Click the link below or go to tinysurvivalmasterclass.com. And don't forget, everybody, please subscribe wherever you're watching or listening to this content for these quick tips. We greatly appreciate it. And do us a favor. Help a brother out. Share this content with somebody you know that you love. Help somebody. Help somebody. Help somebody. I can't stress that enough. The more you help somebody, the more you help yourself. So it's all really good. Please do that. Share this free content. It's free to do so, right? So go ahead and do that. I think that's it, everybody. Until next time, keep it simple. Be positive and stay sharp. For your convenience, I've placed links to everything mentioned in the video description. Make sure you smash that like button and click the bell icon to get notified when we post new survival and preparedness content. To support this channel and encourage us to continue to create new videos and sweet, innovative new gear, go check out our new line of MSK1 knives and EDC gear over at ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And last but not least, don't forget to go check out our five-star rated podcast, The Survival Show, on all major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know.